What's going on guys? Jafer's Reviews here with another tequila review. This time we're doing Fortaleza Tequila, the Blanco. So this one you can find for roughly $51. You may find it for $49.99, but it is, and you can see a lot of the bottle is uh, uh, finished. Been enjoying this uh, over the past week or two. So it's a good one. And I'm going to talk about how it compares to uh, similar similar uh, price points, especially with Don Julio, the Blanco, as well as the Patron Blanco. So, give you a uh, nose, we'll get a taste on the palate and the finish and the overall review. And where I would actually uh, drink this. Would I sip on it? Would I put it in as a margarita premium? Or would I do something else? So, here we go. Take a shot. Cheers. Mmm. So right away, I get a lot of uh, very, actually, more earthy and grassy. I would say it's almost mm, herbaceous in nature because I am getting some of that agave. I'm getting more of the uh, grassy, earthy tones. A uh, little bit of uh, citrus as well, which is very pleasant. All right, let's go ahead and take a cheers, guys. Take a, take a little drink. Mm. Wow. Um, so yeah, right on the palate, it's more of agave forward. But then I do get a nice balance of more of those uh, earthy tones. A uh, little bit, I would say almost uh, grass-esque, maybe wheat. It's it's very nice and a little bit of uh, fruit as well. Not so much, maybe uh, apple, honestly. It's very good, maybe an apple crisp. Mm. Yeah, definitely agave forward, which does linger to the palate, lingers on the palate for a while, I should say. But then it does finish a very, very quick finish, actually, comparatively to the Reposado. And overall, man, the alcohol is balanced very, very well. It's nothing uh, hidden, nothing off-putting. So the reason Fortaleza is so popular is because they just, it's straight tequila. They don't, they're not known for adding a whole lot of additives, which you're allowed to with different tequilas and it can still be 100% agave. So this one in general though, it's much smoother than a regular Patron. Regular Patron tastes just like an agave bomb to me. The Don Julio is a little bit sweeter, a um, little bit not as harsh as a Patron, but this one is just very smooth, very, I would say, mellow almost. Because you definitely get the agave, but the agave goes down and transitions really nice on the palate to some of those flavors like I'd mentioned. Maybe an apple, maybe more like a grassy, earthy tone. Very, uh, very, very easy to drink, honestly. If I was going to do anything with this, I'd either, uh, you know, do shots, which I have before, and I would definitely try this in a margarita. I'd love to see how the Blanco actually tastes because I don't think it's so overpowering or overwhelming, but it would pair well if you're using, say, Grand Marnier to bring out maybe a little bit more citrusy tones. And it does give that little agave hint at the end, so you do know you're drinking tequila, especially a Blanco. So I feel that could work very, very well together. And if you haven't already, check out my review of the Reposado. Um, that one is honestly fantastic. I still need to do a review of the Añejo, which is something else. This whole line, if I had to tell anybody, try Fortaleza, compare it to Patron, Don Julio, uh, Casamigos too. Just compare, compare all those together. And to be honest, the one that 
still sticks out for me, the Don Julio 70th in Yeho. That one is absolutely fantastic. I did do a review of that. But these Fortaleza, these tequilas are something else. There's a reason it won gold in the worlds before um, in the spirit competition. It's delicious. Stone grounded, just how it should be. And the alcohol is overall very well balanced, so I definitely give this an A. Um, this would be probably uh, 9 out of 10. So, very good. We'll be getting another bottle of it. And let me know your thoughts, guys. Do you like this particular tequila? Uh, do you have any recommendations for me? I'd love to hear. So, without further ado, cheers and thanks for checking it out.